Well, hi everybody. I'm Carmel. This is Laurie and we are here to make some art today. Mommy. I'm, I am Laurie's mommy. Yay. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do some scratch painting and I'm going to show you what that is in a minute. And what we've been doing this week, we've been looking at the story of the tortoise and the hare. Tom and Maggie have been telling us the story of the tortoise and the hare. So today I am going to do a tortoise scratch painting and Laurie's going to do a hair. It's a, like a big bunny. Yeah, it is like a big bunny. So what you need to do this is you need some crayons and you need some black poster paint. So any kind of or regular paint. school paint, poster paint is best. You can use a scissors if you need to cut out your cardboard. You need some paint brushes and you need something to scratch the painting with. So we have toothpicks here. You could use wooden skewers. I've got the end of a candle here that would that would also work. Um, you can also use forks. And you could use a fork. Yep. So anything pointy. And Not the other pointy, very important thing is a piece of card. So what I have here is something from my recycle bin. It is from the back of a fajita box. And um, Laurie has a lid of um, a, a takeaway carton from the, the um, recycle bin. Now, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to put the paint out of the way for the minute okay. and move these things out of the way. What I'm going to do is I am going to start just cutting out my cardboard so that I have a nice little rectangle. Yeah. Laurie, you're all ready to go there so you can start colouring with your crayons. Well, I the whole thing? Yeah, I think you should. So Laurie's going to cover the whole sheet in different colours with her crayons. Now you can think about this if you want and think about where you want the different colours on the sheet are. You can just put the colours anywhere. Or you could just scribble around just like... Ooh, yeah, you ooh. could do patterns with it. Um, I am going to do, I've decided I'm going to do orange and yellow. I'm doing so, blues and purples and blacks. Yeah, so it's a nice idea to think about your colours maybe. So I'm maybe, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do three sections. So am I. Yeah. Yep. Great minds think alike, Laurie. Yep. The winner. Smart. So I'm going to do an orange, a yellow, and an orange. There we go. And also... I think I might mix in my colours a little bit, so I'm going to put a little bit of yellow where the orange is. So I think that, that they might be blend together. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit of blending. I think it might be interesting. Mm -hmm. It's always nice. Yeah, it's nice to experiment. So we're putting on all our different colours here. Try not to get any white bits. Yeah, so I've mixed my orange with my yellow but you know what I think I'll just keep the yellow yellow so I'm trying to get a good solid base of color here okay. mine's going from light to dark how are yeah. you doing there Laurie good Laurie's putting a lot of color on there <gasps> my arm yeah she's working very very hard <gasps> Did I suck the punch? okay now so there we go. I've got the nice different colours and I've a nice base of colour on here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to get started with is I have already put some black paint out on my plate. I don't worry, worry you'll have plenty of time. So I've put the black poster paint out on my plate. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to cover the whole crayon coloured in area. All that area that I just coloured in with my crayon, I'm going to paint the whole thing black. It seems a bit bad because then you're not going to see what you have, but there's a secret. Yeah. There's, there's magic we're going to do involved the magic later. thing with this. Yeah, we're going to magic it, so just, just wait for the magic. Yeah, so what you want to get is a good 
a good layer of black. So that you can't see anything. Yeah. No little glimpses. So we have it well covered. You can also do this with just like um just other colored paints. You could do it with white paint as well. You could, yeah, you could try it with a different color paint. But um, we think black might be the best. Black is, is kind of good because it gives a good contrast. And then it like pops out the color. Yeah. I mean, you could, you could, you could maybe do a dark navy, do a dark it, green. You could do it the other way around. You could do black on the bottom and then white on the top and then scratch it and you got black lines. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I mean, really, you can experiment with this. And anyway. You can try loads of different techniques with this. Wait, I just realized that's what's that exciting I shouldn't use black in my thing. Yes, that's probably good, Laura. <coughs> Well, I'll put that I over there for I you. Can't reach the box. There. Okay. Okay, so I have Mommy, my can you covered in box? black. I need the... Okay, there you go. Okay. And I'm gonna use white. So I've got this covered in black and what we're gonna do now is Laurie's gonna finish her crayon and we're going to take a little break and we're going to come back when the paint is dry. So welcome back everybody. We have our nice flat black sheets of card that are painted totally black and we're all ready to do our drawing. Yay. So I am going to draw a tortoise. Now let me see. So first of all I'm going to do the outline of the shell. Get that going. So here we go. We've got a nice tortoise shell outline. There's the bit that its head comes out of. I've got a bit for its back legs. And there's the bottom of the shell. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the head. There we go. There's the tortoise's head. And I'm going to put in a mouth and an eye. There's the bottom of the head, going back into the shell. Let's see, I'm going to do a leg. I love the way tortoises walk. They're very stumpy. Maggie yeah. likes the way that they're stumpy too. Maggie, I think Maggie loves tortoises. Uh, they've got a back leg and a front leg. And um, so you can see so far I've got the outline drawn out. I'm going to keep going here. So you can just go back over the lines and make them thicker. So we get more of a, more of a shape and you can see it better. You can keep working on these really for, as you can do loads of development on them. So now I'm going to put a little bit of design into the tortoise shell. That's my favorite bit of a tortoise. So I've got... What, so is your favorite Pokemon shell gone? Well, Laurie, if I knew what Pokemon, what, they, what it was, it might be. And I don't really know enough of the Pokemon. Is that your favorite Pokemon? No. Nope. What's your favorite Pokemon? It's Pikachu. No, yeah. Well, no, I it's do not, not Pikachu. Pikachu. It's and not Pikachu, Pikachu is very cute. It's not Pikachu. No. It's Zorua. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, so now I'm getting some shape into the shell here. And I did my bunny and I'm doing I almost it. have my tortoise shell done. I'm doing a flower around my bunny. So there we go. You can see that it's taken more shape now. And I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit more over the outline. Maybe do a little bit of scratching out of the shapes inside the tortoise shell. And uh, then I might leave it at that. So here we go. 
Our lovely crayon colours are coming through. Mine are No. I can see your colours. Yeah, so, but the white is not supposed to be up there. Oh, right. The white moved, is it? How did it move? Oh, I don't know. He moved house, that's what he did. <laughs> So Didn't Laurie was saying to me earlier that she had put on the crayons, her crayon colours, where she had a sky, was it a sky and a sea that you had, Laurie? It was the moon, the sky and the sea. Oh, yeah. That was the white bit, the darker blue bit, and then the light blue bit. Yeah. So you can, you can make a little picture out of your crayons, crayon colours. But you probably won't see it. Okay. So I've got a tortoise shell knocked out and now I'm just going to make the outline around the legs a little bit wider or more visible. And again, you can keep going with these. You can do loads of detail on them. So we're what we're doing here is a fairly quick one. What my hair did was he ran his legs off. He ran his legs off? So has your hair got no legs left? Uh, he does have his front legs. Oh, very good. But he ran his legs off. This is the pesky hair. So he ran too fast. Then he ran his legs off. This is kind of like printmaking. There I go. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to put one oh, little just one back leg in here. Makes a tiny bit of a mess with all of the bits of scratched off. Yeah, you might have to clean it up when we're finished. Okay. Now, oh, just a little bit more. Oh, it's hard to stop doing this. Mm -hmm. You just want to keep going. There we go. So, there is my finished tortoise. Nori? Have you got a hair to show us? Yeah, just a second. Oh, we've got moon and stars and everything going here. What's that going to be, Laurie? Moon. The moon. Okay. So, and the other thing I might have forgotten to mention is if you're going to use the scissors, make sure that you bring an adult uh, to get them to help you. Okay, let's have a look at it, Laurie. Here we Galaxy. go. Galaxy. Yep, turn he's, it around. He's sitting on a big full moon and then the little half moon. Just Very good. Okay, so um, that is our scratch painting. And um, thank you all for coming to see what we had to do today. And um, we hope to see you again soon. Please say which one's better. Bye.